Going. Going. Nice. Oh, that's a good oh, one. Shit. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. I was going to go a little further down. Wanted to kind of try to target some more cuts today. Oh! <laughs> Look at him. He's still swimming. Uh-oh. Pretty good looking storm right there. Beautiful cutty. In the rainstorm, baby. We're going to toss some dry skis and see what happens. Oh, sit, sit. Nice, dude. Tomorrow, uh, I think, is going to be when we're going to, when we're going to find the bulls. couple days we've kind of determined these bull trout are really shutting off pretty early in the day so we decided that we would uh, give it a shot really early in the morning see if we can get some movement from these bulls early give us some more time on the water where they are active just giving ourselves a little bit of a shot to actually be a little further into a flow before the bulls uh, turn off this afternoon It's like 6, 6.30 in the morning. I don't have a watch on, but it's really early. Um, we just got to the river here. Uh, pretty gnarly little slide that we got to take the boat down. At least the takeout's not too bad, but here for the put-in, we have a slide here, so we're gonna actually have to drop the boat and drag and pull, and hopefully it doesn't get too far out of control as we take it down this nice little gorge into the river. Call that the juicy even juicy right there, son. Juicy McDermott. Bad rope. I got it. Don't worry. Scotty, if you have a better rower, that'd be fantastic. If you could have brought that. I, I really tried. I tried to recruit some people. Ah, uh, fuck me. So everybody, this here is what happens when your guide can't row. I knew that going into this trip. I wanted you to feel a little bad about what you've done. My ankles are now cold because of you. <laughs> I can't feel mine, so. God damn, videographer in the back of the boats. Either oh, too down. fat or too much gear. I don't know which one. Let's head left and anchor up left. No, sorry, let's head right. Go right. Good job. Good right here. Woo. Woo. Yep, good fish, good fish. Here comes, here comes, here comes. There's a net. Scotty, net. He's in the boat. I'm gonna bring him down the river. What's easier for you? It's easiest to put him cool. in that water. Hey, uh, you need to use a 10 weight. Yeah. This eight is not nice. it. You can't get the leverage you need on this. Here, here we come, here we come, here we come. Yeah, boys! Let's go! <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's so cool, they have those same tiger stripes on the top, just like yeah. the trout do. How you feeling after that one, Adam? Feeling good, bro. Finally did what I came here to do. Those little, those other little guys I'd caught just weren't really why I drove 14 hours to get up here and why y'all why y'all flew across the country to be here going that one going nice oh, oh that's a good oh, one shit. yeah that's a good one that's a good one down him down him i don't have to have right behind you one Hell yeah, fucking shot him. Big meal. Oh, sh dude. What happened? They didn't have pressure on him. Maybe more of a bend in the rod. 
Yeah. Damn, dude. That was, a, that was a good make. Thir I, that would have been 30, dude. Most dude. Don't tell me that. That, one, that was the biggest fish we took. That, I'm gonna be thinking about that fish all day now, boys. Until you get the next one. Until no you get yeah. the next one. What about that left side? That little drop off. Right down there. You think we should hit that at all? Uh, obviously, that's the ticket. Like, that's the money spot. Okay. That's the biggest fish I've caught on a fly rod. Oh my god, dude. Look at that fish. That is why we came, boys. I'm, I'm shaking, everything. dude. That, this is I unreal. This is crazy. Come on, buddy. There it goes. Shark. How you feeling, Scotty? Oh, dude, I, that's crazy. I don't even know what to say. That was insane right on the swing, right at that bottom point. Wasn't even really stripping it, and just went tight. And I just, boom, pulled the line, strips at him, and just kept stripping, and then he just like had that first head shake, and I realized he's actually a fish, not a rock. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was crazy. So, let's get another one. Dude, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't move. It's fine, I can't fine. chase him in there. It's fine, it's fine. I'll pull him up. Solid. Snakey. I love going to the boat. I got it. Ah, yeah. I was like watching my back cast, watching it, and then watching it go right in the tree. I was like, well, that's in the tree. Did a little squirrel fishing today, and definitely no bullies up there. So uh, we just had to uh, pull over here and throw out some of our gear and walk uh, walk it down here because we have a nice little shoot here that comes from this boulder. It's not really the worst of rapids, but we were warned earlier that if you don't take your right, you can end up right on that boulder there and put your wrap. So just as a precaution, we grabbed the extra rods and the heavy gear, and Scotty and I got out of the boat. I uh, let Adam run this by himself, just because, you know, we're out here in the middle of nowhere, and we want to be as safe as possible. All right. Here's our rapids right here. It's about to run some not too serious water. Not really much of a class, per se, but it is very tricky because there's a boulder right in the middle of it that's kind of the only issue is that there's a boulder in the middle of like a class two got the guys out of the boat got most of our gear whoop got about and down our beer hatches can't lose any beer out of this event all right kids leroy jenkins you know canada eh? let's run this boys a little wave train here oh yeah she's not bad Are you my Uber? I called an Uber earlier. Adam? You're good. <laughs> that was easier than I expected. Coloration's in his fans, man. That is so cool. 
It's like everything I like about a brook trout, but better. This is, this is the absolutely the prettiest one that I've seen. Happy oh, one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Give me a second, take take your Big cutty. That's a big old cut. That's one of the best cutties I've ever caught. All right. One of the best. That's probably the best. Welcome to Discovery Channel. This is Hobo Steve. Today we're opening a can of hot tamales <laughs> with a pocket knife and this rock my buddy found by the river. <laughs> So what you, really want, what you really want to do is get in here and really just smash it in there real good inside. Get up here and just really just pop it like that. You want to stay around the edges because if you get away from the edges, you're not going to be able to get a good cut in there. Now you know the term pop lock and drop it, that's where this came from. <laughs> this is indeed where the term pop lock and drop it came from. Adam, you want to show us, show us, show us how we uh, eat these to the camera? Now, Steven did kind of f them up. Dude, come on, on my foot. Seriously? <laughs> my B, my B. Just gonna give that a good unwrapping. And then there you go. Tamales. One out of ten. Yelp review, I give the food a zero, but their scenery was a 12 out of 10. Streamer bite has died off a little bit. It's been kind of slow. So I'm gonna switch it up, throw a chubby, see if we can target some of these cuts, and then Adam's gonna run the, the bigger streamer up front. Oh, there he is! Yeah! Woo! He yeah. came right back. Nice little cutty. The West Slopes, baby. Oh yep, Whoa. there it is. Yes. Nice. How do you just how does how do you just quit bull trout fishing and then you just start dry fly? Yeah. And just, just hammer them. And railing cutties. <laughs> nice. Woo. Hell yeah, dude. That one but smaller. Should be a small last one in there, yeah. Y'all? Yeah, perfect. Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh yeah! There we go. Oh, oh man, that was, that was a good, good hit. Oh, that was a good cutty too. There we go. Oh, dude! Oh my god! Can't keep him on. I can't. Good little fruit there, bro. Little okay. Oh, let's go. That's a good one. That's a good one. That was sick, dude. Oh, there's a boy on it. Streamer, streamer, streamer. Get, get, get streamer. Yep. He's on. I'm, I'm going. Nice, dude. It's got him in your seat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. chomped it. Man, dude, this is an incredible river. The all morning, we were just killing bullies. Sorry, let me let me restate that. <laughs> <laughs> so for everybody out there that that is a conservationist, we weren't actually killing the bullies. 
We just had a fantastic day of streamer fishing for bull trout this morning. It was like mind blowing. Every single tail out, every single pull we came up to, we were pulling into multiple bullies. Yeah, I mean, not all of them were big, you know, some were like 18 to 20 inches, but we pulled in some nice mid 20s and then even a 30 pluser from Scotty here. I mean, it was absolutely phenomenal. And now that even though the bull trout fishing is shut down, dude, this, the, God, I can't even explain the dry fly fishing right now for these cutties. Every single little pocket, every scene, they're just popping out. Even the little ones, dude, it's going crazy. Right over here, dude, just threw it into the little pocket. Pop, 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 little man in a nice little, what, what do you say, 16 inch just pops out like a football, just came out of nowhere, crushed it. And then right after that, a bully came out and just started wailing on it. I thought he was gonna eat it. I was like, oh my gosh, get back, this is my fish. It was an actual fight for this thing and I just, like to explain this in actual words, it's just, it's hard to do. <laughs> Can't do it, it. It's hard, it's hard. You have to be out here, you have to experience it for yourself. Like, geez. Nice cutty. Good way to end the night, boys. This is probably one of the best days of fishing that I've ever had, honestly. And it was it was so much fun. The, the scenery was incredible. I, it like Steve said earlier, words can't describe. But yeah, we're gonna get get back after it tomorrow. We're gonna camp somewhere around the area, and then probably fish the same stretch since we kind of got it dialed, and hopefully get into some more bulls tomorrow morning. We're just waiting on Steve, and then we're gonna chat out on some food and and get ready for tonight. Welcome to Adam's Kitchen. We'll be preparing a very special dish for you gentlemen this evening. We're going to have some sausage, some steaks, some bacon, and possibly, if we're lucky, some ramen noodles may make an appearance. Thursday morning, uh, we're finally starting to get things dialed in on the bull trout. We're here at our favorite river now. We strapped, we got some bear spray after our bear scare this morning. So we got a lot more uh, cloud cover days. We see it's super overcast. Oh, oh holy oh, shit, those big. Tomorrow, we're gonna be eating some head hunting. And that's, that's what we're working on right now. We've taken all the knowledge that we've gathered from the last four days of fishing now, and just kind of coalesced that into this, you know, what you're seeing come together right now.